act without food. Okay, so you might be wondering, oh, is Mom hosting a cooking show now? Kind of. So in today's session, I will teach you how to identify a substance which is in your kitchen or around you. So what is the nature of the substance? Curious to know? So all you need is, I don't know, whatever the things which is available in the kitchen, just pick one of them. Um, vanilla essence, I have vanilla essence here and onion, so beetroot, lemon, then turmeric powder, this is tea and few glasses and bowls. Okay, this is what we need. So what are we going to do? As I told you, we will help you. Let's identify the nature of the substance using these things which are called as indicator. Yes. Okay, let's start with our first indicator. Onion is an olfactory indicator. That means olfactory, what is the meaning? So, it changes its smell according to the medium it is added. So, in acidic medium and basic medium. Let us see what happens. Of course, I cannot put the whole onion. So, make the juice, prepare the onion juice. So, I have grinded. Okay, and uh, I have onion juice here. You can see my eyes are watering. So, I am going to add acidic solution. I have taken lemon water. And you know that onion has its characteristic smell, right? And it is still there. Okay, now I am adding a base, basic solution. Let us see whether the smell will vanish or you can still detect smell or not. Mm, the smell is actually gone. So, of course, I can't show you. Uh, so, please do try it at home and let me know whether it worked for you or not. So, in acidic solution, when an acid is added to onion juice, so there won't be any change in the smell. You can still detect the smell, but when it is added to a basic solution, where, or when a basic solution is added to onion juice, the smell is vanished. So, we use turmeric, right? Every day, kitchen like me, it is very, very, very important. In all the dishes, we add turmeric, and not only that, it is a very good antiseptic, and even we apply it on our skin also. Makes our skin glow. Did, but did you know that turmeric can be used as a natural indicator also? Okay, let's try it out, okay, whether it works for us or not. So, I have two solutions, yes. So, I'm gonna add one solution to this bowl. And I see no change in the color. Now, I'm gonna add this solution. Let's see, will there be any change or not? Okay, see, you can see the color difference. So, this is a base. Okay, I took the soap water. So, in the basic solution, turmeric turns red. Okay, reddish brown. And then acidic solution. When acidic solution is added, no change. You can see by yourself the color difference. It's a very simple experiment, all the natural indicators, so do try it at home and let me know whether you got the same color difference or not. Did you know that black tea can be used as a pH indicator? Mm, let's see. So I have acidic and basic solution, okay? So in one, I'm adding the acidic solution. It's a tea, okay? It's a tea solution, black tea. And just mix it. And in one more, this is a base. I've taken soap solution. See, you can see that the tea solution, it became lighter when I added acidic solution and it became darker when I added the basic solution. You can compare it with the neutral solution by adding water where there won't be any change. Okay, so you can see the differences and this is why our tea Black tea, okay, green tea you can use, but it won't be that spectacular. So use the black tea, it can be used as a pH indicator. You can clearly see the color change. Vanilla essence is also an olfactory indicator. Let's see what will be the result. So I have, as I've already told you, I have an acidic solution and a basic one. Um, first I'll add basic, let's see. You know right, this vanilla essence has its own characteristic, very, very, very pleasant smell. Mm, I'm adding the lemon juice, 
which is an acid to the left one. I'm gonna check the smell now. No change. And in this, the smell has actually vanished, you know. Of course you cannot see this. So as I told you in case of onion, please do try it by yourself. And but don't waste vanilla essence a lot. Even I have put I have added very little amount. So you guys also do the same thing. So this is the beetroot juice I have prepared. So what I have done is, um, so to the boiling water, just add few pieces of beetroot. That's it. Okay. So this is what you can see how pretty the color is. I really like this color. And uh, but soon it's going to change. What we are, we are doing now is, I'm adding the same thing again. The acidic solution. Okay. So you can see the color change, it has turned into red color. Okay, you can see the difference between this and this. And I'm taking a basic solution now. You can see it has turned blue. Okay, so the acid, when acidic substance, acidic solution is added to beetroot juice which was pink in color, it has changed into red and when I have added the basic solution to the beetroot juice which was pink in color again, so it has turned into blue, almost purple color. So beetroot juice can be used as a natural indicator to find out the nature of the substances around you. So this was our little experiments or the activities to know the nature of the substances which we have been using. So do give it a try, try it at home because I have not taken anything from outside. So these are the substances which were, which are there in the kitchen. So I have picked few which can be used as natural indicators. You also give it a try, do it at home. Then you will know how uh, nice it feels and you will be even learning a lot. If you have any doubts or if you are not very sure about the procedure, please let me know in the comment section. I will help you out. Thank you so much. So wasn't it fun? I had lots of fun doing all these uh, activities. I mean, it had been so long since I did something like this. So it's really fun. Uh, make sure you try it at home and let me know what are the results. Uh, you got the same results as mine or it was different. Okay. And the color changes, trust me, you will love it. And you will also get to learn a lot. Uh, but if you are interested, what is actually happening? What is the chemistry behind it? And if you want to learn, so these kind of things with lots of fun activities, there is this right place you have to be at. Not only the fun, so whatever the problems you are facing, it might be related to the doubts or the notes in any platform. If you are facing any of these issues that, you know, you're not able to practice enough, that, that, that is the test and assignments because in YouTube though, on YouTube we cannot conduct any tests, right? So, and the competitive exams, you want to start preparing for the competitive exams, then the biggest problem is the choice of schedule. We never had the option of, uh, you know, schedule so whenever our teachers used to call us we had to attend the session same here now also right so i'll come only at five o'clock or one o'clock then you have to attend my session but if you want the freedom to prepare your own schedule if you want all of your problems like doubts notes to be solved then the right place to be at is vedantu platform so get this pro subscription by visiting the link vdnt.in slash yt pro so only very easy three steps select the grade then select the target, click on to the get subscription. You have three types of plans. So whatever you are okay with, just go with it. One month, three months, six months. And because of the Independence Day, on the occasion of Independence Day, there is a special discount going on, 50% ka discount, special discount, which is valid only on 14th, 15th and 16th. So make sure you get the subscription. Maybe, you know, this is the best time to get it so that you can learn from the best master teachers. Thank you so much and do not forget to let me know in the comment section how was the video, are you going to try it are you, or you have already tried it or if you have any um, new activities which you want me to make a video on, just let me know. Thank you so much. Till now, it was your master teacher Surabhi. Keep loving chemistry, elementary chemistry by Vedantu.